For one family, Juneteenth has special meaning this year. They discovered an old family Bible that held notes from an enslaved ancestor who documented five generations of births, deaths, and marriages that allowed the Diggs family to trace their lineage all the way back to Africa. And now their piece of family history is being preserved for future generations at the Smithsonian. Here's CNBC's Shamari Stone. Very proud and excited. Denise Diggs feels a sense of pride as she sits in her living room near Los Angeles. Part of my family history has been discovered and is now going to be a part of that history of Juneteenth. Her family donated this Bible from the mid 1800s to the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture. When I saw the Bible, it really brought tears to my eyes thinking about the fact that my great grandfather's legacy was going to carry on and that people from all over the world that visit that museum will be able to see it. Denise's sister-in-law found the aged Bible three decades ago in an old box written on the discolored tanned pages. She found the name of her great grandfather, Richard George Collins, born into slavery in 1844 in Alabama. He wrote down all his family's names, birth dates, and marriages over five generations. The notes helping Denise and her brother Richard Diggs research their lineage. It's a wonderful experience, but it's a very difficult experience because you run into a lot of roadblocks. You start with very small pieces of information and you try to find connecting pieces of information. Richard Diggs says Collins escaped from his slaveholder, enlisted in the Union Army, and after the war, moved his wife and kids to Texas. Scholars say this Bible is extremely rare. This is a gold mine. You're talking about a very small group of black folk, whether free or enslaved or freed as slaves by the time emancipation takes place, where they're able to read and write. The Bible sits on display for all to appreciate as tourists stop and reflect. I was kind of proud that this man saw the importance of making, making sure that his family's names and history was preserved. I want people to know that we have a rich history in this country that's worth knowing. I believe that the more people get interested in that, the more the barriers between us might drift away.